major afferent and efferent pathways of the cerebellum. Question, a 67-year-old man is brought to the emergency department due to acute onset of a severe, throbbing headache that localizes to the back of his head, with associated dizziness. The patient has a past medical history of hypertension. His temperature is 36.7 C, blood pressure is 170-90 mmHg, pulse is 80 per minute, and respirations are 14 per minute. Non-contrast head CT reveals an acute hemorrhage in the cerebellar vermis without mass effect or midline shift. Which neurologic finding is most likely to be present during the patient's physical examination? A. Truncal ataxia or B. Limb dysmetria The answer to this specific question is truncal ataxia. Let's discuss. The cerebellum is derived from the metencephalon and is located dorsal to the pons and medulla. The fourth ventricle is located between the cerebellum and the dorsal aspect of pons. Cerebellum functions in the planning and functioning of skeletal muscle contractions. The cerebellum consists of a midline vermis, two lateral cerebellar hemispheres, and flocculonodular lobe. The topographic arrangement suggests that the vermis controls the proximal axial musculature of the limbs, the intermediate hemisphere controls distal musculature, and the lateral hemisphere is involved in motor planning. The cerebellar vermis modulates posture. Input to the vermis is from the spinal cord. It sends efferents to the medial descending motor pathways, anterior corticospinal, reticulospinal, vestibulospinal, and tectospinal tracts, that basically are responsible for reflexive and postural movements. Therefore, acute lesions to this region example due to hemorrhage typically result in truncal ataxia, characterized by a wide-based, unsteady gait. Most cases of cerebellar hemorrhage are caused by hypertensive vasculopathy. Flocculonodular lobe modulates balance and eye movements via connections with the vestibular nuclei at the pontomedullary junction. Patients may develop vertigo and nystagmus as a result of a lesion. In contrast, lateral hemispheres exert an influence on the lower motor neurons via the lateral corticospinal tract, controlling especially the precision and sequence of voluntary movements. Hence, hemispheric cerebellar lesions cause an intention tremor that is seen when voluntary movements are performed. Due to the involvement of the lateral descending motor pathways, a number of dysfunctions such as limb dysmetria, dysdiaticokinesia, and scanning dysarthria may occur.